Hey everybody, welcome to an overview here on the channel. Today we're going to be taking a quick look at the Toilet Bound Hanako-kun box sets. I have to give a huge thanks to the folks at Yen Press for sending the second box set my way to share with all of you guys. Now, unfortunately, I don't own the series and I really wanted to get started on collecting Toilet Bound so I had to go pony up and grab box set one. Fortunately it was at a discount. I got it for half off from a famous website and here we are with both box sets. I really enjoyed the anime adaptation which is how I learned of the series when it came out gosh I want to say 2020 and now here we are with the manga the original version which I am reading for the first time. I really enjoyed the anime like I said and I wanted to give the manga a shot and of course go past what the anime adapted even though we do have a second season coming up as of this video. But regardless, you're here for these box sets I presume and I think these are fantastic. Now notoriously on the channel I've stated that I'm not a huge fan of them but given the opportunity yes I will grab one or read it and such and I wanted to get this because they are so stylized. I wish all the other manga publishers could do stuff like this instead of just cramming all the volumes in there with one rectangular long box set and call it a day. And maybe the extra would be a flimsy poster and that's about it. With this one, at least we get variety and the graphic design involved with the creation of this set is really good. I remember when the first box set came out, it was very innovative, looking like a bathroom stall. And now with volume two, I was wondering if it was going to continue with that same motif. And it does but fortunately alters the color palette looking very distinct compared to the first one. When you open them up of course you get the first 10 volumes in the first box set and volumes 11 through 20 in the second box. As for special features I'm not a huge fan of posters because I don't have anywhere to put them so they're just going to remain here inside so with the first one we do have a nice looking poster of the main illustration with Hanako and in the the second one, I think it got a little bit more creative with character illustrations, a little bit sturdier in material, not just cardboard or paper stock, more acrylic in nature. I'm probably saying it wrong, but you get the idea. They're glossy. They look really nice. I did appreciate that immensely. Inside the box, I like the extra treat, sort of an Easter egg of hidden illustrations within the box. So when you take out the volumes, you see our protagonist here, Hanako. Though I don't know if it happened with everybody, I do want to point out that due to the structure of these box sets, the weight of the books actually end up weighing down the base of where the books are going to be placed. So you're going to see some creasing towards the corners. And if you're not careful, it, that might break off in the future. I don't know if it was just a QC issue with this particular set, but I do want to give you that heads up because I did notice it right away when I was opening up the set and taking all the volumes out. So with these two stalls, if you will, you get the first 20 volumes of this series. If you're wondering just what the heck is Toilet Bound Hanako-kun, but let me tell you. But first, I'm going to give a quick plug to my underutilized TikTok account where I talk about yokai. That is something that is a passion of mine, a hobby of mine that I don't share too often. But I do have a TikTok channel if you by any chance navigate those waters. It is Creature Gaiden and I tend to post minute long videos uh, spotlighting different yokai creatures. So I did one for Hanako-kun as an urban legend mini series within the channel and I'm going to play that for you guys for a brief explanation and some context behind the origin of this character. Hanako-san, a Japanese urban legend about the spirit of a young girl who haunts school toilets. Often described as a modern yokai, her appearance varies across sources. She is, however, commonly depicted as having a bobbed haircut and wearing a red skirt or dress. To summon Hanako-san, individuals must enter a girl's toilet on the third floor of a school, knock three times on the third stall, and ask if Hanako-san is present. If Hanako-san is there, she will reply with some variation of, yes, I am. Depending on the story, the individual may then witness the appearance of a bloody or ghostly hand. The hand or Hanako-san herself may pull the individual into the toilet, which may lead to hell. 
With that out of the way, you're probably wondering what is the series about? Well, we follow these characters in Kamome Academy, and this school is surrounded by rumors about seven mysteries, seven particular urban folk tales that govern the talk of the students in this school. One of the seven mysteries happens to be Hanako-san. One particular day, one of the main characters, Nene Yashiro, goes to the stall and knocks on the bathroom stall asking for Hanako-san so that the spirit helps her with her romantic endeavors. She is a very sweet, naive girl, very gung-ho about certain things, especially uh, with her being a hopeless romantic. She wants to fall in love with the right person, and when it doesn't work out, she'll move on to her next crush and so on. But she's actually very sweet and endearing and you can't help but like Nene. And her naive nature makes it charming. You want to see her succeed, but you also get a kick out of her silly misfires. So Nene knocks on the stall and it's not Hanako-san, it's actually Hanako-kun. And at first, he's a little bit childish, mischievous. You don't really get a read on Hanako, but as you start exploring his psyche, his character, you realize there's more to him that meets the eye. There's true emotion sprinkled throughout and quite the amazing, tragic backstory. I'm not gonna reveal it here because that would be spoilers. This is more of an overview of these sets, but just know that this is a really fun, dramatic, comedic, and romantic series that envelops high school romance, growing up, coming of age stories, and of course the occult, the paranormal, yokai, all these wonderful things that I love. I am a huge fan of the paranormal when it comes to my manga reading. I love yokai, and this takes a more modern approach to telling these classic stories. And as the relationship between Nene and Hanako deepens, we learn about the other school mysteries and how they affect the schools, the students, and our main protagonist. These obviously lead to more adventures and adversaries, a lot of evildoers, if you will, that lie within the depths of the school. One of the greatest things about Toilet Bound Hanako-kun is its inventiveness. The duo, the duo that created this manga, Aida Ido, have a really fun time crafting a wonderful story that anybody can enjoy. Even if you don't know a single thing about Japanese folklore, you still find something to cheer about and love within this series. The writing is simple, but quirky, fun, it doesn't take itself too seriously, but also showing a layer of complexity with the emotions of these characters. Just because they are quote unquote stereotypes of legendary myths and legends, if you will, doesn't mean that they have to be one note. And we see that with the character of Hanako-kun. There's more to him as you read on. There is a lot of material to go over, but I will happily do a second video actually deep diving and reviewing Hanako-kun and, and talking about all 20 volumes if you guys so wish for me to do. And lastly, the biggest draw, I guess, for this series, without knowing anything about it, I have to mention it, and it is the distinct, heavily stylized art, which is just so magnificent. One of the crowning aspects of this manga is the beautiful artwork at display. I love the character designs. I love the backgrounds. Even the most minute, minuscule thing looks great in this setting. It this manga can capture the haunting beauty and essence of Japanese folklore, but giving it to us in a more contemporary setting. I love how rounded and colorful everything looks, even without the coloring, which made the anime famous, it still looks fantastic. From the architecture of the school, when you venture into the supernatural realm, to just simple things like Nene's clothing and hairstyles, or Hanako's expressions with the the little spirit orbs next to him, the Haku Jodai. So overall, what do I think of these sets? Beautifully designed, super unique. I wish all the other manga companies would imitate Yen Press with the creations of their box sets. And I'm not being a suck up or anything, it's just a fact. This is a box set that I could easily have acquired. Well, technically half of it I did acquire through my own money, but you know what I mean. This is something that is attractive and would look great on a shelf, even though I don't have a lot of room for box sets, it's still something that I would like to display. 
So there we go. That is the overview of Toilet Bound Hanakakun, the two manga box sets. A huge thank you once again to the folks at Yen Press for making this video possible and sending me the second box set my way. I knew that once I saw it, like, okay, dang it, I'm gonna have to grab box set one, which I happily did because I actually did have it on my to buy list at some point. So I sped it up by many months. So I grabbed a uh, box one and started reading immediately. If you've read Toilet Bound Hanakakun, let me know in the comment section down below what you think of the series. If you want me to review it fully, like I mentioned earlier, also let me know. Very interested to find out. Thank you everybody for tuning in. God bless. Stay safe out there. I will catch all of you on our next video.